Paperweight Showdown between Colby Chaos Covington and Gilbert Doreen Yus. All right, here he is for my money, might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. All right, so here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter, though. But ultimately, it's about the fighting, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best in the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Anjos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Anjos, who is also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goals. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. The American is 32, the Brazilian is 34. The rest of the numbers are close. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton for Lotta, Gilbert Durinho Burns! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos coming time! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true Rapper on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Stuff's low and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here. Into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows 
that he could get the finish. Burns pass attempt denied. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Covington. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Covington. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Oh, now he's in trouble. Sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Lands the ground and pound strike here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. focus of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Gilbert Durinia Burns. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.